welcome back to my channel so first off before we are going to get into the video i just want to wish you all a happy new year and i hope that you guys had a great and safe transition into 2017 so this is my first ever build for the new year and i'm so excited to show you guys what i've done so first off as you guys maybe noticed i'm building in oasis spring and i never ever build there usually i go to willow creek or to newcrest or to windenburg um but i have absolutely i just hate building here and the reason why is well the color of the house looks really weird in daytime as you can see the the wallpaper looks a little bit more on the yellow side i don't know maybe yellow brownish and that's a color that i really hate so yeah this is something that i don't do often but one of my new year's resolutions for the sims was build a house in uh, oasis spring so i just thought let's start with that one because that's the one that i hate the most um but i have to say at the very end i actually kind of really liked this house i think the colors really look very nice together but in the beginning i was like nah this is not going to work this looks awful i hate the color um but in the end it works out quite nicely and i think it's because i do pair it with a bold color um as you can see here so i pair it with a red color um, i'm also going to use some wooden slates from um get together um, and if you combine all of that i think the color really looks kind of nice so in the end i think it's mission accomplished and yeah i will be building more in this world i was even thinking of maybe redoing all the houses so just bulldozing all the pre-made houses that's the max nexus team made um, and doing my own houses so maybe in entirely modern themed area and then a more of a suburban area with spanish looking colonial houses um or something like that um but anyways back to this build so for the inspiration for this build i did get this from instagram no not instagram i've got it from pinterest this this time so i was just scrolling down through pinterest um adding to all my boards i have like multiple boards i have a sims board i have a house inspiration board and i think i have a interior design board and i was filling up my houses board and i saw this beautiful modern looking um house come by i don't think it's a real house yet i think it was only um how do you say that uh, like a render or something like that but i really liked it so oops that's my phone so sorry i forgot to turn it off um anyways i really liked that house so i decided to uh, recreate the house uh, so what i did is i took the front and back of that house but i did make the roofing uh, a bit different all of the landscape different and i converted it like it really fitted in into a more of a desertly looking team um so yeah i'm really happy with this house so i'm not using any custom content at the moment this is still uh, my vanilla game so no cc the only custom content that i'm using is my shortcuts mod i always build with my shortcuts mod um i hate pressing in uh you know the entire uh the entire line for the cheat so like bb dot move objects and the um the free entitlement objects thingy i don't know how it's called um but those are too long so i always use my shortcut mod so that's the only thing um, that i have in game at this point um i will be adding in my cc folder soon and i will be building uh a one or two houses with custom content but don't worry i am going to stay true and build more no cc houses because that's what you guys asked for i did ask in another video what you guys wanted uh custom content houses or no custom content and like 90 maybe 95 percent were all no custom content so i'm definitely going to stick to that and lower the cc houses but still going to give you guys some maybe one or two cc houses uh per week and all the rest will be no cc um 
so yeah so here doing the landscaping on the back and like i said i try to keep true to the surrounding of the area that i'm building in so this is more of a very desertly looking um yeah world so i decided to add in some cactuses to blend that in and of course some palm trees and yeah i i think i did succeed in blending in the house uh, this is a house that looks very nice in a desertly environment and as you can see i did try to copy um, a little bit of the uh, landscaping that the max system did um surrounding the lot so that it really fitted in quite well um so yeah, I have to say that my favorite part of the house is the backyard. I love the pool. Um, it looks so gorgeous and I did add in a fireplace so your sims can relax and I don't know, maybe drink uh, a cocktail that you can drink from the bar because I am going to add in a, a bar area so they can drink a cocktail or a glass of wine, wine not wine, <laughs> a glass of wine in front of the fire and yeah, just enjoy themselves really. Um, so this house is going to have two bedrooms, three bathrooms, kitchen with dining area, of course, and a living room. So it's not very large. It looks larger from the outside than it is on the inside because we, we have a second floor, but that's really tiny. And so I decided to go with, of course, a master bedroom and a children's bedroom. And in the children's bedroom, I did add in two single beds, so you can definitely have up to four sims live here of course you can add in more beds to that uh, children's bedroom but i don't know that's maybe a little bit too cramped um so for the simoleons uh, this house is one t uh yeah 100 oh my gosh how much was like a 170 000 simoleons something around that area so it's not super expensive like my um uh, one of my penthouses because the last penthouse or the second last penthouse that i did was like 500,000 simoleons this one is much much lesser um so but it's not the cheapest house uh definitely not i am going to maybe do another starter house i'm really crappy at starter houses by the way i always go over budget and i need to uh, delete items and stuff like that but of course starter houses are uh, really fun uh, so i might do one uh maybe in the future maybe a house with only one pack not sure um but this house of course has all the packs um so i'm using perfect patio spa day get together vintage glamour um city living <laughs> and cool kitchen and i think uh movie hangout and kids stuff and the luxurious yeah and the luxurious party stuff so every pack there's something in it but if you don't own all the packs that's all right you can still download this house and just replace the items uh that you don't have with other stuff um so yeah of course and of course if you want to download the house it's on the gallery just go to my origin id love simply sim or use the hashtag love simply sim or hashtag sim and phoenix and you will find this house with all of my other creations there and for the people who don't like the gallery because uh, uh, quite a few of you don't use the gallery um there's a download link in the description of the video just download the house um i think i uploaded it to my media fire or my dropbox i'm not sure but anyways download that file put it in your blueprint and then you can play with the game and the house will be in your um in your how do you say that again in your library so don't look it on the don't look on the gallery look in your library and you will find the house there so as you can see i do try and incorporate some of the red in the umbrella that i was using um also going to add in some more uh, red how do you call those um uh, candles so the, the flower the flower candle in the red version i am going to add that in as well um and of course the plant pots are a little bit red so i tried to unify the color a little bit um so yeah i wanted to use those lighted stones that you saw me place but it looked weird so i decided to delete them again um 
so yeah so almost i think we are almost finished here and yeah going to the inside of the house so uh, for furnishing i am going to implement the red that we have on the outside to the inside of the house so i'm going to use red counters uh, that you can see here uh, and combine it with some white so that it breaks up the red a little bit um, and i also had again my kitchen counter glitch so if i placed a lot of lights right uh, against the kitchen counters then the lighting was fine uh, but if i removed the lights then everything turns black again so i do upload it as i have the lights uh, now so i do place all the lights right above the cabinets if you don't have the glitch just remove the lights because the counters will be too over lighted if you do have the clip glitch this will solve it for you and your counters will look fine um so yeah anyways i am making the living room so of course i needed a fireplace um no living room is complete without a fireplace i mean not for me anyways um so i am using um I don't know from where these couches are but i am going to remove them and i'm going to go with the ultra modern ones because i just really like them um, those are my one of my favorite no cc uh, couches um, i think the vintage 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 glamour stuff couches i really like those as well but I didn't want to use them for this build because I have been overusing that pack. I know I did. I think a lot of people are a little bit bored from the vintage glamour stuff pack because I have been using that quite a lot and I am still using the mirrors. I'm addicted to those mirrors so you will see the mirrors come by a few times in this build. Um, and I think a side table or two from the pack and of course uh, the uh, coffee table that I'm using is from the pack as well um, as for that little uh, I think that's a lion a lion or a dragon that's from the vintage glamour stuff pack but everything else I don't think I use anything from that pack um, so yeah so what I did I did try to go with a homey feel but still uh, a modern looking feeling um, because that's just how I really like to furnish um, although I do like to make things look uh, luxurious as well but I did like multiple luxurious houses so I didn't I intentionally tried to make this more look uh, like a homey house and not a luxurious looking house um, so yeah here you see my struggle with the lights <laughs> um, but in the end I did succeed in making it look nice so here making uh, the walls a little bit red breaking it up with mirrors because the red was a little bit too intense so I thought let's place some mirrors in front of them and yeah it looked really nice um so yeah just i'm just seeing here what i'm doing uh i just built the house and i always forget what i did while building which is strange because it's like an hour ago since i finished um so yeah so i wanted to place some shelves there but uh we didn't have white shelves only uh, black and brown looking shelves but no white so yeah it looked it didn't look nice so i went with a painting of i think that's a i don't know how that animal is called on the on the bright looking painting i think a, 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 a leopard in dutch <laughs> but i'm not sure what it's called in english um so yeah so here a little sitting area some bookcases i will be placing that as well so your sims can read a book here um i don't know i just really didn't know what i wanted to do there um so i decided to go with a ottoman and two bookshelves so we are almost finished here and i think we are going to go into the hallway and then the uh bathroom and then we are finished with the first floor oh my gosh not finished with the house finished with the first floor um and for the staircase that i'm using um the color is white it looks gray and that's another lighting glitch that i have in my game but it's actually white i don't know why it's looking gray here um 
so yeah so here all the lights um, adding in all the lights and stuff like that it's really basic really so how are you guys doing by the way did you have a great new year's eve um like i said i just spent mine with my family we played cards until i think 11 30 um and then we were prepping for uh for the countdown so we added in all the champagne and stuff like that um, but it was just a lot of fun i did uh add in some snapchat so if you are following me on snapchat um you this did saw some funny looking <laughs> videos um so my mom was really happy and dancing the entire time and i did just i just did film a little bit of that and i put that on snapchat because it was just fun to look at i haven't seen my mom that happy for quite a long time so this was a very very uh successful new year's eve for my family um so yeah and we are all we are in the bathroom so almost finished with this build i did forget to add in a toilet here but i will be going back at the very end of the video and i will be adding in that toilet uh, because i was doing the upstairs bathrooms and i clicked on that toilet and i was like oh my gosh moina you forgot something downstairs so i do go back down and add in the toilet but the um washer uh, i think it's called a hamper that's going to disappear um, so yeah, so here in the second floor, uh, adjusting the floor plan just a little bit. Um, <clears throat> let's see, because, so yeah, so I do think, so for the master bedroom that's going to go uh, to the back of the house and at the front of the house, that is going to be the children's bedroom. Um, I did forget to furnish the hallway with some paintings, but when you are going to download this house from the gallery uh, there will be paintings uh, in the hallway um so here i wanted to start with the children's bedroom but i didn't know what i wanted to do so i went to the master bedroom instead um so yeah so i have to say i love this bed the new vintage glamour bed and the city living bed those beds i think they are really beautiful and i'm really happy that they decided to add in more beds in the game um so yeah i'm really happy with all the recolors that we have from the city living game and um it looks really nice here so here adding in some clothes to that little little nook there and i wanted some shoes as well but i'm using the smallest wall height and it just didn't look nice so i decided not to add in some shoes there um of course a seating area for your sim that she can sit down um try on some clothes and yeah just a little fun little area i have to say i really like this one this looks really nice and of course the uh chair from um i think that's from city living the chair with the really high back back i don't know how you call it the back back uh i don't know evo it's it's from city living and i think it looks really really luxurious and i like really like using that um so this is the final room that we are going to do and this is going to be the children's bedroom so i did make this first a all girls bedroom and halfway through i was like oh my gosh mona you're doing again it's all pink and girly so i quickly deleted everything and i cut that piece out of this video and i went with a boys team because i was like oh my gosh no one wants to see another pink bedroom so this is a all boys bedroom um they like transformers they like void critters because there are there is going to be a void critter station um also a fish bowl because these two little girl boys not girls boys are going to be into the fishing um sports um they have uh oh my gosh how do you call it they really like soccer and i, I wish there was like soccer in the game or a football in uh uh in dutch football <laughs> um i really wished we had some other sports than uh basketball i mean i like the basketball in the city living but that's not a really a game that i actually have played i mean i've played it in school but 
not much uh, else. Um, I mean, here in our spare time, when it's summer, we play soccer with the children. Um, so yeah, I'm really missing that in game here. So, but yeah, these uh, these little boys do like soccer and uh, all. I don't know how you call those things, Transformers. And I think that the robot there looks a little bit like Iron Man. <laughs> so I went with the uh, red and uh, gold recolor on the uh, poster as well. So they are a little bit of a Marvel fans as well. So yeah, here doing the bathroom, I wanted the bathroom look just to look at a little bit childish and that's why I'm going with the bold colored rocks. Um, I am also adding in some frogs, some colorful frogs. So this is a real kids bathroom. Um, so yeah, so we are almost finished with the video. Um, this is the final bathroom that we are going to furnish. I did make this look a little bit more luxurious because this is the master bedroom, uh, bathroom, <laughs> the master bathroom and yeah. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, I'm still going to do uh, some lighting at the very end of the video. So if you like to see me do all of the lighting, pool lights and stuff like that, Please stay until the end of the video. Oh, I forgot. We also have a garage. That's it. I, I totally forgot about the garage. Yes, we are furnishing a garage as well. Um, so I just decided to go with some standard looking... Um, how do you call those things? Counters. Um, so this is like a tool shed. Um, because we don't have any cars, which is a shame. I wish I could add in a car like on the driveway or maybe a car in the garage. I mean, to be fair, I think the garage is a little bit too small for a car, <laughs> but it's not functional, so that's okay. So yeah, now we are really at the end of the video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little video of mine. Um, if you did and uh, you liked it, don't forget to place a like, of course. And if you loved it and you haven't subscribed, please do, because then you will never ever miss a video of mine. So yeah, I hope that you guys have a great, great day wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye! Ha <laughs> ha